What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Rule 585 back with another video. As y'all can st still see, I'm in my Rams gear from my video that I just posted probably like 30, 45 minutes ago or 20 minutes ago, whatever the case. Same day, another video. Gotta keep the grind going. Um, so, so this video, as you'll most likely see by the title, talk about them 76ers, Markel Fultz. Um, okay, so I'm gonna say that, uh, okay, so, so I was watching, earlier I was watching Sports Center, and, well not Sports Center, but I was watching like, um, a, a segment of First Take, um, and it was Stephen A. Smith, on the, uh, you know, on the process of him not liking the, you know, trust the process with the Sixers, etc., etc. Obviously, you know, a man has the knowledge. He's more, he's obviously entitled to his own opinion, you know, on his take with the Sixers or whatnot. Um, and I know I usually watch the uh, the post game conferences, news conferences, like with the players as far as the Sixers and whatnot. And so I didn't watch the post game news conference for um, Markel Fultz. I didn't watch it. But I mean, but according to uh, to Stephen A. Smith, Markel Fultz was like dodging like questions about his injury or whatnot and what have you. And you know, so so Stephen A. Smith said, you know, he felt like you know. The way apparently Markel Fox carried himself in the interview, he's a fool. Hey, I mean, I I think differently, but I again that's that's uh Stephen A. Smith's opinion or whatnot. Um, I don't know. Like I feel kind of like with like okay, with Stephen A. Smith not liking the whole process that the Sixers went through or whatnot. Um, like most of us fans and everything. You know, I know like myself, I say in my Sixers videos, you know, trust the process or whatnot, because I was all for it. I'm all for, you know, for whatever the Sixers do. I'm not going to lie. It, it's certain things that the Sixers organization that I've seen that I haven't agreed with or whatnot. But, you know, at the end of the day, it, it, it happened. It is what it is. Um, like I said, again, I'm not saying I think Stephen A. Smith is, is, is wrong for his opinion. That was his opinion. He, he's entitled to his own opinion. Or whatnot, but um, but anyway, no. The the main uh, thing about the video was uh, uh, this video is my. It was basically my reaction to uh, Mark Fultz, you know, his his re debut, if you would say. Um, so I believe he had thirteen point. I mean, whoops, not not thirteen. My bad. He had ten points, eight eight assists, and four rebounds. Now, I mean, after sixty eight games not playing or whatnot. I mean, I'm not saying that's the best, you know, the best re-debut or what have you for a player. I mean, he contributed to the team like he, you know, he. I think he has said, you know, he he's trying to help the team in any way he can or whatnot. Um. So, I, I mean, again, I don't, I'm not disagreeing with, you know, however my care folks, you know, carry this up or whatnot. Um, like I said, I didn't watch the interview. I mean, like I said, I, I, I've said I just I just wanted to see him back on the court because I didn't know who he was until he got to the league, till we drafted him or whatnot. Um, but like I said, Marco Fox, you know, he, he contributed. We won. Um, and yeah, you know, like I said, uh, the rest of the squad did their thing as well. Ben Simmons, Rick Adier, obviously, Joel and B did him, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So um, like I said, I was I was hyped. Like I said, because he didn't have Mark Foss didn't have any minutes restrictions or whatnot. Um, but let me know down in the comments. Do y'all agree with Stephen A. Smith? You know, with what he said or how he feels. You know, as far as regarding everything, because I also feel like, you know, in a way, I might have said this earlier in the video, but like, I know he probably probably doesn't mean it how I'm taking it, but it's like he's saying that us fans are wrong because we're we're supporting our team no matter what they do. Like I said, I don't think that like 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 I said myself, I don't agree with everything how the Sixers have ran the team or whatnot, whether it's the GM, the owner or whatever the case. But I'm a Sixers fan. So after all this and how the squad is and whatnot, if the team was to make a deep playoff run and and make the Eastern Conference Finals, I would be hyped about it. Whether whatever what player we got 
I'm going to be hyped. That's just what it is. Stephen A. Smith, man, you know, like I said, you use entitled to your own opinion, and that's just what it is, man. Like I said, Marco, Markel Foss did his thing, and what in his return, like I said, he didn't beast, but he contributed. All right, y'all. But um, like I said, this was just my my reaction to Markel Fultz. Ten points, eight rebounds, or ten points, eight assists, four rebounds. Um. And yeah, like I said, let me know down in the comments what I thought of his, you know, his, his his return, and you know, how y'all think you know he's gonna be the rest of these couple games of the season, and heading into the playoffs. What, what do y'all think he's gonna do? How he's gonna be? You know, yeah. Oh, one last thing, Markel Foster, bro. I will say, you you shot it. Yeah, I don't know. Like you shot it. I mean it. Obviously, it's better. I, like I said, I've never seen how you actually shot the ball in high school and college. But you shot, you know, it's, it's you know, it is what it is. All right, that's all I'm going to say. All right, so I'm, I'm going to stop rambling. Uh, like I said, let me know down in the comments. This your boy, Rule 585. I'm going to holler at y'all later, man. I'm out. Peace.